They look good. They look good. A lot of energy and, you know, it was a good practice, good first day. You know, helmets and in the rain, you know. As good as it can be. Yeah. How much? <laughs> yeah. So we'll do another helmets tomorrow, and then we'll put the shoulder pads on inside. When you come out here for the first day, you know, what are you looking for? As a coach, as a coaching staff. Well, some of the some of the younger guys stepping up. First day is really hard to evaluate. You know, you look for the energy, you look for uh, organization, you look for the hustle, you know, all that type of thing. Which it was really good. It was upbeat. Guys flying around. You know, it was good. It's kind of hard to throw and catch the ball today. You know, so you don't get overly excited about you know what happens with the ball so much. Um, you know, the guys were flying around. Great attitude. Great enthusiasm. Did uh, Rogers punt at all today? We didn't punt today. Okay. How were the conditions? Rainy. <laughs> <laughs> Moist. Yeah, it, it, rained, it rained all day. Right now, it just stopped. You know, perfect timing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so, so. But the good thing about it is the field wasn't puddled up. The other day, the field was, you know, there's a lot of standing water and puddled up everywhere. So we were able to get the water off a little bit. So it was safe. And yeah, even though it was a little bit sloppy, it wasn't like if you're practicing the puddles. Who was, uh, who was at center today? I know with Dom out. Uh, a few guys played center. Swinky played center, Adcock played center, and Brzezinski. Anyone distinguish themselves that you could see? No, you can't. You know, not really. I mean, don't watch the tape and see what's going on. And Dom snapped there in seven on seven drills. You know, so he's getting practice snapping the ball. He just can't be in, in the contact drills. So yeah. if, when he comes back in the fall, would he still be in line to oh, compete yeah. for that spot? Oh, yeah, okay. absolutely. Yeah. Been through a lot of spring practices, obviously. Is there just a restlessness for you as a coach and your staff just to get out here and get on the field? How yeah, yeah, it, it is. I mean, it's always great to get out here. You know, they do all the lifting and do all that kind of thing, and and the main thing is get out, out here on the field. And they're running around with smiles on their face. They're happy to be out here. It's great to be out here to be able to coach them in football. You know, and fundamentals and techniques and schemes, and so uh, it's always fun for the coaches to get out here with the players. A little more antsy since uh, Tuesday got canceled. No, not really. You know, I think you know, what, this would have been just like Tuesday. I think it would have been the same, same thing. It didn't get canceled. It got yeah, postponed. Post <laughs> How's the D, how did the D line kind of shape up with Owusu and, and Guyton gone? Well, pretty good. I mean, again, we're in helmets, and so we're playing at a tempo. You know that you have to make sure that you're everybody's on the same page with tempo. You know, so but hustle was good and. You know, there's some good guys up there, Kenneth Payne and, and DeAndre and Moose and those guys, you know, they and Gabe is in there and so it's uh, it's a it's a good group. How's Tapoti doing us on the trot off in red there? He's still healing. Yeah. He had surgery? He did. Keenan's been such a productive player for you guys for the years. How odd is it or frustrating almost to not have him out here, obviously? Well, I think we all know what Keenan can do. You know, even if Keenan was out here in the spring, you know, he wouldn't have done a lot of live drills. It would have been right. you know, a lot of just fundamental work and things like that. But, you know, Keenan is such a quick study. You know, he's so smart and has got such a great feel for the game. You know, but he can still improve. And so, you know, he's missing some of that right now. But, you know, when he gets back in the summer, he's... Like I said, he's a quick study, and you know he'll be fine when he gets back there. Losing as many experienced receivers as you did, does that make it a little tougher to evaluate the quarterbacks because they're not throwing to maybe the top line guys? Uh, no, as long as they're making the right reads and they're throwing accurate balls and things like that, you know what happens at the end of it. You know, it, uh, it's about the process and it's about where you're going with the football and those type of things, how they're running the offense and so on and so forth. And, you, know, you could really tell Zach today is a veteran. I mean, he ran the offense great. You know, no hiccups. You know, it was all, it was all really night and day from last spring on the first day. You know, it was night and day. You know, with guys who are experienced. You know, with him and Bridgeford, those guys, those guys have a really good handle on what's going on. So everything, everything mechanically, you know, went really well in the sloppy conditions. And you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, get too worried about ball on the ground here or there. You know, because of the conditions, but. I thought they did a real nice job mechanically of running the offense and the defense was aligned well and uh, there was a lot of stock for the alignments and things, so uh, it was good. You could say it's night and day from last spring with that. Any example? Is it the way he carries himself? No, I mean, you just, mentioned the mechanics. just the knowledge, the knowledge of the offense and the huddle and, you know, we were able to do some, some no-huddle stuff today and 
you know, things like that where we couldn't have no way done that on the first day last year. You know, so just, so, you know, you go through a year of game planning and offensive terminology and things like that. It's just, you know, it's a lot easier when you have a bunch of You're obviously several months removed now from last year, but how important were those last four games of the regular season, the way he played in terms of carrying over some confidence? Yeah, well, no doubt, no doubt. You know, I mean, you take the last half of the season, he's in the top 13 in passing efficiency and things, so you really you know, manage the game much better, learn, you know, continue to improve through the season. And, and uh, so the last half of the season, you know, you take the Utah game on and take the UCLA game out, and, you know, he played pretty well. Trawan, at least by the roster, and we all know how fluid those, you know, the roster weights, we know how fluid those can be, but he seems to put on, put on he's up, what, 220? Who's this? Trawan. Trawan? Yeah, what about is, him? is he going to still be in the mix at tailback, or? He's, d he's down the depth chart, you know, quite a ways. You know, we're going to have a lot of tailbacks, you know, so right now he's, he's, he's down the depth chart quite a ways. Do you feel like you have enough wide receiver depth to get you through the spring and be able to do what you guys want to do? If we, yeah, if we can stay healthy with the guys we have, we can, you know, but typically, you know, through spring ball, depending on what happens, you have to manufacture ways to practice. You know, you can't run those guys ragged. And because uh, once you do, the good thing about it is you have days off in between to recover. You know, it's not like you're practicing every day. So and we'll go five and then we'll have spring break and then we'll come back. And, but with days off, I think we'll be fine as long as they can stay stay healthy. You know, but you can manufacture things like half, half team and half seven on seven and, you know, things like that. And, you know, one of the big things through the spring is getting our tight ends involved. And, you know, so that's, that's, a, that's a big key. Now kind of going off that, tight ends, do you have enough tight ends to get through the spring? Yeah, yeah. As long as they stay healthy, we should be fine. You know, but that's always the challenge in spring ball. You know, you start out with a certain number of guys, and depending on what happens, you know, as it gets real physical, you know, then, again, that's when you have to manufacture things to practice. Inside linebackers, you lost the, the two big guys. Who's, uh, who's, who's going in there? Uh, a few different guys. You know, Forbes, Wilkerson's playing inside some now. Jason Gibson's in there. Uh, Robert Mullins is in there. Uh, Broussard's in there. You know, so there's some young guys, but they're talented guys, you know. Jason Gibson, Forbes, you know, Forbes, I think, probably tested out the best in the weight room of almost anybody on the team. So he's ready to play. And so that's what this is all about, to get those young guys up to speed, get them to learn, get them to make mistakes, learn from their mistakes, and, you know, then they'll just continue to improve through spring ball. I think a little bit of that improvement is due to the fact that he wasn't able to get on the field last year, so maybe he's kind of oh, making up for lost time. Well, he's eager. I mean, he's eager and he wants to play. And looking at his work in the weight room, it's evident that he's dedicated to what he's doing. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it's his turn. You know, any time anytime the guys are coming through the ranks, you know, the younger guys are coming through the ranks and they come to their turn, you know, they're always eager to, to show what they can do. You talk about the difference between Zach and last spring and this spring. What about EC? I mean, he had now a year as the established tailback. How, yeah, in I, what I, ways is he different now? Well, I, I think... I think he's another one that you saw just get better through the season. You know, seeing holes and hitting holes and, you know, trusting inside, running inside, um, you know, lateral movement, all the things that he continued to improve, you know, through the season. 